Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome to our very uh, first cooking show for the month of Ramadan, where we encourage you to explore with different dishes so that you and your family can enjoy. And today we've got Chef Nabil Roberts, who's going to be cooking up a storm. Assalamu alaikum, Chef. Wa alaikum salam. Shukr so much for allowing us your time and giving us your experience in the kitchen. Uh, give us a bit of history. How did you get started into cooking? I started in 2001, uh -huh. graduated in 2003. Right. Should have been a three-year course, but because I was the eldest of my group, right. I spent only two years in class, and the okay. third year I spent as practical experience. Okay, brilliant. Different hotels around Cape Town, Cape Sun, the Cape Townian, right. Cape Banquets. And with, after my... I've logged all those hours, uh -huh. somehow or other, I ended up working at the bank. Okay, all right. And then and after and the bank, you then ventured then, into cooking again? Yeah. After, I think it was 2008, when right. we went through a bit of a recession. Correct. That's when I moved away from the bank and went back to being a chef, and in that, a private chef for a couple of families. Fantastic. And you've been doing this since? Ever since. Okay. What uh, dish are you making for us today? Okay, so today, uh, because it is for Ramadan as mm -hmm. well, and we do get a bit tired of eating the same thing all the time. Right. So we try to keep it a little bit on the healthier side of okay. things. Okay, all right. So we're just doing some Chinese sticky chicken wings mm -hmm. with some wild brown rice mm -hmm. and steamed broccoli. Okay. So first of all, let's get all of this out of the way. Chicken wings, all we need to do with those, just remove the wing tips okay. and we save that. This is gold. Okay. That goes into our stock for our next dish. So we remove all of these wing tips. That's all done. This can be thrown away. Okay, not thrown away. Just keep this to one side. That we'll use later. So, very simple. For the sauce, we're going to need honey, teriyaki sauce, uh, chili oil, some smoked paprika, soy sauce, salt, pepper, and some peanut oil. Okay. And a little bit of MSG. The Chinese don't do anything without the MSG. <laughs> so we just grind some garlic. Three cloves of garlic should be enough. Good sized piece of ginger. Just a little bit of peanut oil. Some teriyaki sauce. About a tablespoon. Okay. Same amount of soy sauce. A little bit of salt. Some black pepper smoked paprika about a tablespoon of chili oil
teaspoons of honey. And of course, just a little pinch of MSG. Not entirely necessary, but it does make everything better. Just give that a little bit of a mix. At this point, Chef, is there any variations that you could recommend? Um, you know, some people have different tastes. For those who like it a little bit more spicy, uh, chili flakes, and then also this chili oil that I've got over here, this is, there are two variants of these and they look very similar when you see them in the store. One's got a picture of a guy and mm -hmm. the, one, the other one's a picture of a lady. Right. The lady is a little bit spicier. Right. So I think there's a reason why they put those pictures down there. Okay. But yeah, so for those who like it a little bit spicier, get the chili oil with the lady on the front. And those who can't handle the spice, get the guy. So with this, we need to save some of the sauce for later. Okay. So we're not going to use all of it right now. So we take the chicken wing and we just make a small slit just so that the sauce can pen penetrate. Okay, so we face them all cut side up. Then we just drizzle some of this over each one of them. Now this needs to stand ideally for about an hour. The longer the better, but if you're in a pinch, 20 minutes will work as well. Okay, so that needs to marinate as is for about, let's give it half an hour mm -hmm. before going into the oven. I'm going to just move this to one side. And we reserve the rest of the sauce. Once that is about, I'd say about 80% cooked, we'll just drizzle the rest of this over to make the glaze. And if you, well, we'll, we'll judge it at the end, but when it's about 80% cooked, mm -hmm. We may need to add a bit more honey, just to create a bit of a glaze. Okay. Okay. Okay, then that's done for that one. Just give this a rinse. Okay, what's the next step? Um, now I need to move all of this out of the way and get, I'll do the risotto now. Okay, chef, so we've got the chicken marinating. Um, are you adding anything to the dish? With that, we'll have some of some brown rice that's been pre-cooked, as well as some steamed broccoli, mm -hmm. and it will be finished off with some spring onion and sesame seeds. Okay. Okay, so these have been marinating for about half an hour now and they go into the oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes after which we'll check them. Chef, um, the chicken's now done. Um, what's the next process? Okay, we've had the chicken in the oven for about 20 minutes now. So we can get that out of here. So now you'll see it does look black and burnt, but that's only because of the sugars in the honey. That's not actually what we're going to be eating. So now all we do is, we've got some nice color on these. Move it to one side. <coughs> Pour the rest of our sauce over. Okay, so the rest of our sauce has been poured over and just some broccoli florets and these don't really need to cook. All we want them to do is just slightly soften, so to speak, just that we aren't eating raw broccoli. Just drizzle with a bit of oil. And then this goes back into the oven just for five to ten minutes, just until the broccoli is tender but not soft. Oh, 
All right, and that goes for another five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Right, so the chicken's just been uh, completed, Chef. What's the, how long has that taken? So we've had the chicken wings in the oven now for about, let's say, 35 minutes, and mm -hmm. that includes the extra 10 minutes for the broccoli. Brilliant. Okay, that looking absolutely amazing. As you said, the, you know, not to worry too much about the color. Yes, the color, you need a dark color, but mm -hmm. also the the black that you see on the dish itself. Right. We're not eating that, and that's only because of the sugars in the honey. Gotcha. All right, along with this dish, you've also prepared We've got some, some rice. wild rice. Not everybody's first choice, but once again, like I said, we're trying to eat a little bit healthier this Ramadan. Inshallah. So this rice has very little starch in it. As you can see, it's quite loose, yes. but it also has a lovely nutty flavor. Okay. So we'll get some for you over here. To our chicken dish. Yes, some get a couple of wings. It's a little bit of the oil from the bottom. Let's just get some broccoli. That's looking absolutely amazing. Okay, and then get some of this oil. Well, it's a mixture of oil and soy sauce, so okay. it's a bit of flavor in it as well. Okay, and that uh, can and be broccoli. Some just drizzled rice. over. Okay, and then we'll wait for your plate as well. Oh, I must tell you, the aromas are absolutely amazing. I can feel it uh, come through the ingredients that you used a bit earlier. I can smell some of those ingredients coming through now. Yeah, we get the soy sauce that's and it. also a bit of the peanut oil. That's it, yes. That's it. exactly what I'm picking up. Okay, chef, so we uh, finally have taken the dish out of the oven. It's now plated. Uh, run us through the ingredients very quickly that you used in this dish. Okay, so for the wings, we've got a marinade with soy sauce, chili oil, peanut oil, and some honey okay and then that's just a simple marinade just to get the some sweet and sour flavor onto the chicken okay gotcha alternatively you could also add a bit of chili flake to that oil but in this case we didn't okay paired with that we've got some steamed broccoli stunning and some wild rice okay so i'm gonna have a taste mm. i can feel that um, i can taste the peanut oil come through um, that's nice. I'm going to try the wild rice as well. That's nice. That's a nice combination, especially with the sauce drizzled over. Yes. It's not the very, it's not starchy at all, and it's like you can, like us like you can see, it's a very loose grain rice, mm -hmm. but it does have a nutty flavor as well. Okay. Well, Chef Shukran, so much for allowing us to experience this dish and don't forget you can catch us in another episode tomorrow where we will have an interesting dish for you from the hilal team assalamu alaikum <laughs>